snowshoe aficionados know solitude and peace are abundant in the dead of winter, on the coldest of days, high up on a New Mexico mountainside. It gives you a good opportunity to kind of go around and just check out the mountains. Um, we have a fairly large network of cross-country ski trails in this particular area. Um, snowshoers and uh, skiers alike come up here and enjoy this. So we're up here at the Ellis Trailhead up on the Sandia Crest and um, this is a great trail for a beginner if you want to just go for a short distance but still get a really nice destination. Um, not too steep, you, you definitely up through here cut through the trees but everything is really well marked. Um, here we've got a nice map that shows where we're at and um, shows us all the trails in the area. This is a lightweight racing snowshoe because I tend to want to move quicker and go further and am not necessarily going to be carrying a lot of weight. An avid snowshoe enthusiast, Dr. Tom Durkin discovered winter outings back in his Boy Scout days. For me, I think the, one of the most enjoyable things about going out in the winter time is uh, is just the peace and the quiet. Uh, you don't you don't see as many people. It's much less crowded, and uh, uh, you you just have a, a entirely different experience. The really neat thing about seeing the wildlife in the winter setting is that you can really see all of the tracks, and it's really fun to talk about and think about which kind of animal tracks you're seeing. Um, you every once in a while you can run into like. Uh, a kill where a group of coyotes have have been eating <laughs> and that's it, it all just is you just see it a lot more clearly in the snow you can just really tell everything that's been going on with the animals so it's a neat way to um, really think about animal behavior um, what they're doing in the winter what they're eating um, where they're hiding <laughs> and that sort of thing this is a really fun slope you can with snowshoes it's really easy to hike up it and then you can do some running around and jumping in some powder. <laughs> okay, here we go. Running, jumping, and rolling in snowshoes for fun requires deep snow, a hillside, the right kind of enthusiasm, and the right kind of clothing. Basically everything I'm wearing is either wool or synthetic, and I've got a lot of layers on. Um, under uh, my pants, long underwear, that are not cotton, so um, if they get wet, it's not going to make me cold. The moisture is going to um, stay away from my body. I've also got a shell that keeps the water out, and if I get too warm, I can open up the vents, <laughs> and then um, it can help me, it helps some of the heat escape so I don't get really sweaty. Because what you want to really avoid in the winter time is getting, getting wet. And so when you sweat, you get wet, and that's what's going to make you cold. Particularly when you come up here to altitude, this is uh, phenomenal aerobic uh, conditioning here. Uh, I think you probably would want to make sure that you've got some, uh, some baseline of, uh, of fitness and aerobic capacity before you went out here. I used to take my son out in his backpack when he was itty bitty and bundle him up, so any age really. Um, you just got to take all the normal precautions, bring the right equipment, um, make sure you stay warm, you have food, know where you're going.